you seem like, honestly, I say this, I like you because you're very respectful and you're very honest. When I was hearing you answer questions, I was actually amazed at your honesty. This is the kind of people I like to talk to. You're always welcome to come to my channel uh, because you don't, you're not like that other guy who's a, uh, who's legion, but you asked me a question about preterism before I get to that. Maybe they want to finish this topic. So you always want to finish this question or you want me to answer the question about preterism? Can we do preterism? I feel like that's a real topic. Yeah, it was my bad, Sam. You can answer this one. I assumed he said predator. I, I, Muhammad, you know, my you bad. assume, you know what happens when you assume Chris, <laughs> What happens when you assume? As u me assume. Hey, this is supposed to be a Christian channel, Avery. What's your problem, man? Can't be talking like that. Anyway, can you guys hear me? Yes, sir. Yes. Original Quran only Christians. He's trying to probably do rupee on me in a minute, and maybe uh, cast something out of me. All right. Anyway, now coming yeah. back to your show. Though, when you say predator, know. there are two camps of predators, right? There's a preterist that believe that. Everything in the Bible refers to Jesus coming in judgment to destroy Jerusalem and the temple and that there will be no physical bodily descent of Christ to the earth and a general resurrection of the dead. Life will continue forever and ever. But then you have a type of preterism that teaches that though the prophecies, many, if not most, refer to 70 AD and destruction of Jerusalem, Jesus will return physically bodily and he will raise the dead generally and there'll be a judgment of the living and the dead and he'll usher in a new heaven new earth when we mean new heaven new earth not that this earth will be wiped away so <clears throat> i'm okay with the view that says because i'm also convinced that much of these prophecies that christians apply to the second coming are actually referring to jesus coming to destroy the temple in jerusalem if you read it contextually i believe that but there is also solid and plentiful references of jesus returning the way he left. Well, he left physically and bodily, and he's going to return physically and bodily, and there will be a resurrection of the dead from their tombs, John 5, 28, 29. So if you do affirm that Jesus will return physically and bodily to judge living and dead and usher a new heaven and earth, glory to God, because that's been a historic position of Christians. This view that Jesus does not return at all, but it's spiritual, that's more modern. So there are two camps of preterists. Now, I know that one camp doesn't like to be called partial preterist because I've heard them say we don't like the term. And the other camp doesn't like to be called hyper preterist. But the view that says that prophecy such as Matthew 24 or much of Revelation is referring to 70 AD, where Christ would come, not physically, but come to destroy the temple in Jerusalem. That has a lot of strong evidence for it. And I tend to go that route without denying that Christ will return physically embodied to judge the living and the dead. So I don't know if that answered your question. Right. I think that that honestly to me is where I lost Christianity for myself when I realized that this was actually a topic, that there was actually a discussion about whether or not Jesus would actually return again to judge the living and the dead or if that already happened, supposedly. Yeah. But I can't imagine that people base their life and their doctrines off of a book that would lead them in two separate directions like this. Okay, Derek, you know you're being inconsistent here, right? Because as a Sunni Muslim, which you are from, a, from what I gather, you know that in your own camp, in your own camp, you have Muslims who read the same Quran but cannot agree on how the end will pan out. Because though you, a Sunni, with the Shia, believe Jesus will return, you have Muslims who deny that this is an explicit tenet of Islam because you cannot prove it Quranically and they reject your hadiths. So now I cannot believe that there's this religion that comes after Christianity that's so convoluted that Muslims cannot agree, and that's why they're divided. You see what you just did? All right, but you do know that arguing about Tawhid as well, Sam. You do know that the orthodoxy, right? That the orthodoxy who defines doesn't orthodoxy? agree with that. Derek, who defines it? You're begging the question. You're assuming you're orthodox, and therefore anyone who disagrees with you cannot be orthodox. That's begging the question. Right. The people who define orthodoxy is Cairo, Mecca, Medina, and Jerusalem. Who gave them that authority? You? No, no, no. The city of the prophet is where we define what Islam is, period, period. No and doubt about it. You can say, say whatever you want, but, but where does the, the Mecca, say that, Dirk? Where does the the Quran Mecca say? of Islam and the city of the prophet is where we define yeah, Islam. Forget whatever that? you were talking about. Yeah, but Derek, you're not hearing me. Can you prove to me from your Quran 
what you just said. I can prove to you from what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. And I can prove question. to you. See, Derek, you're not listening. See, if you we cannot be a Muslim without coming to Mecca. And you cannot come Where to Mecca the Quran say that? unless you are a Muslim. Where does the Quran say that? That you cannot be a Muslim if you don't go to Mecca. See, you're not hearing me. And this is why sometimes communication breaks down. Right, you but what I'm saying is you're making a false straw man argument because no, no one not. is disagreeing about these things because the real orthodoxy is already established. Derek, are we talking past each other? Because you're not listening, honestly. And I know you're better than this other guy. You I'm, I'm not trying to talk past you, but you have to realize that we know what it is because of Saudi Arabia, because no, of Cairo, you know, because of Jerusalem. No, doesn't mention Saudi Arabia. Show me Saudi Arabia in the Quran, so you're not listening. Okay. All Muslims are united on the Quran, but they're not all united on the Sunnah. And even the Sunnah is debated because the Shia don't follow your Hadith. But you're united on the Quran. If I bring a Quran only Muslim or a nation of Islam or an Ahmadiyya, you're united on the Quran. So show me from the Quran what you just said, that to be a Muslim, you must look to Mecca and Saudi Arabia. Where does the Quran say that? Okay. So this is a good question that you've asked me, and I'm going to address all those people. Let me just get to it, okay? Anyone who doesn't believe in the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, as is prescribed to us through the Orthodox ministers of Islam that are in Medina and Mecca are not Muslims. I'm sorry, you're not a Where Muslim. Don't pretend that? to be a Muslim. The Where Quran, the Quran tells that? us that whoever follows Allah and his messenger is a Muslim. So we know what the messenger said. We know what he did because of the Hadith. So if you do not follow that, if you are not living by the Sunnah, you cannot claim to be a Muslim because you're going against the Derek, Quran. You're not following the Prophet. Derek, you, know you, did? You Derek you, you've shown me why I'm not meant to dialogue because you didn't answer a single question. And I don't have patience for people who tap dance. This is why I prefer to teach and answer questions that are sincere. You didn't hear you anything. I said. Okay. Let me make it. Let me make it clearer. For the fifth time because i'm going to have a heart attack because of you guys because this stress is too much okay let's try this again where does the quran say that you have to follow the hadith because that's where the sunnah is and where does the quran say that you must go to mecca because that's the center proving you're a true muslim you didn't hear me you went back to begging the question assuming the Sunnah is something essential to Orthodox Islam, and the centers of true Orthodoxy is in Mecca, Medina, and Cairo. Please give me the verses in the Quran. Quran, please. Is my question clear now? I think I already told you. In the Quran, no, it says, whoever, in the Quran, okay, in the Quran, there is a verse that says, whoever follows Allah and his messenger. And what okay? does that say? That means the Hadith. I don't know. Okay, since you, since you think you're onto something, so, I'm going to let you explain so Sam, what you think Sam, you're just, onto. Just okay, to clarify, okay, Sam, let me explain so. it to him. He wants me to explain it to him. Following okay. Allah and Muhammad means following his revelation, the Quran. Where does it say following Allah and Muhammad means Quran and hadiths? You quoted a verse from the Quran. Yes, the Quran only Muslims will amen that. They'll say, Alhamdulillah, we follow Allah and his messenger. Because how we follow Allah and his messenger? The Quran. So can you show me in the Quran where it says following Allah and his messenger means Quran plus. And that plus means Bukhari and Muslim and Abu Dawood and Tirmidhi. Because the Shia will say, no, baloney. Uh, you follow Kulaini and Kafi. So where does the Quran say following Muhammad, the messenger means I follow the Hadith? Okay, well, that's your point. Obviously, you must think that we don't. That it doesn't that it doesn't imply that that it doesn't mean that. So you're right. It doesn't say any of that. Good for you. <laughs> uh, I'm glad. It doesn't change on. Islam in any list and, and just, in any and just way. Just to clarify, just to clarify, if it did, then the hadiths would be from Allah. By invocation, right? Or am I getting that wrong? Like I said, yeah, he has a point, but it doesn't change what we as Muslims believe or Thank what you, we as sir. Muslims do. Your honesty, it will get you far. And if you're honest, you'll come back to your true Lord and Savior, Jesus. Right, but honestly, it's so silly. Like what you're saying is really just silly, huh? foolish. Really? Is it silly? If I show you from the Quran where the Quran says, this book is fully detailed, explains everything. So there's nothing you need besides this book. Are you going to say I'm silly still? Yeah, I would say I don't listen to a kafir about what the Quran is. Well, I'll means. let you read in Arabic. Can you read in Arabic if I give you the verses and you explain it? I Okay. I'm not trying to talk over you or disregard what you're no, saying, but, saying, but I, I actually in Arabic and explain go them? to a no, yeah, I actually go to a mosque where my imam 
studied at the University of Cairo. So anything that I have as far as questions about Arabic or Hadith or Quran, I'm well endowed, so to speak. Okay, so if I give you the ayah in Arabic, you'll read it and explain it for us because you won't take my interpretation. Will oh, you do uh, that? If you want me to give you an interpretation for an ayah, go ahead. Let me. I'll give you a. I'll give you my oh, interpretation. You, you're going to read there because the Quran is only in Arabic, right? It's not in English, correct? Right. The real Quran is in Arabic, okay. correct? So if we bring up the Arabic, you're going to read the Arabic for us, and you're going to read it, and then break it down, and explain in English, because we want to go with your interpretation. Could you do that? Me, I, I'm from California. I don't know Arabic. Uh, I don't know that, Arabic. That's what I suspected. See, I knew you don't know Arabic, and I knew that you're pontificating. And yet, when I tell you, here's what the verse means, well, I don't go with your interpretation. And yet, here you are. You don't know Arabic. You can't even interpret the book for me as a Muslim. So then who's going to explain it to us? Your imam? Where is he? Can you invite him? You know, I've been thinking about doing a whole series on Twitter, like um, Twitter starting the trying to compete with YouTube and me and him are actually going to begin to answer all of these questions from authentic sources, like the way that is actually, that it actually is. So uh, inshallah, we have really big scholars, luckily for me, where I'm at, who study these things in depth and I'm going to Can you bring them to my channel, the community. Avery? Can you invite well, them to my channel, Avery's? I'm going to sit down with them and I'm going to ask them all the questions and give them all the objections that you all bring. And I'm going to let them answer them from no, there. Yeah, yeah. the it it would make easy. sense for them to come. There's yeah, over two to 300 people that they'd be able to get this message out to live. It would only make sense. You're going on Twitter with him, right? For this very reason, right? Right. We want to spread it, but I want him to explain it properly without interruptions and to explain it the way that it actually is in Orthodox Islam. Okay, now, so we Eric, get the real understanding of it. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Okay. The reason why I interrupt this, because when I see a person going off track on a tangent, I want to rein him, him and stick to the point. Because okay, yeah, yeah. we don't have time for 30 minutes for preaching to the choir. That's not what this is for. It's interaction. So when I ask a question and I see a person diverging and he's going left field, I have you're to right, read right. wait, wait, wait. come back. That's not my question because our time is limited. If I let you speak for 30 minutes on a topics not related to the question, we've wasted time. That's why I'm stopping you because I want you to focus because when I did let you answer, you didn't answer. When okay, I said, go ahead. Read us Read us the verse. Yeah, go ahead. Read us the verse and the interpretation, please. All right, go ahead. Uh, Brother Avery, if you want to open up your Quran browser, because he wants the verses. All right. And by the way, because you said you're in California, and you say you have scholars there, are you affiliated with Zaytun Institute? No, I'm from California. I'm currently in Georgia, in Atlanta. Georgia. All right. Okay. All right. Now, because I thought there, because I know there's Zaytun. Now, and as a Sunni Muslim, you believe the Quran is Kalam Allah, it's uncreated? Yes, as Sunni Muslims, we believe that Allah right. spoke to Jibril and that he came to earth and gave it to um, Muhammad. You, you, see what's beautiful? You, see, you see why I interrupted you? You see, Now, I want you to see it so you don't get angry at me. Well, I asked you a question. You didn't answer it. You said, we believe Allah revealed the Quran to Jibril and gave it to Muhammad. But that wasn't my question. You see why I cut you off? You, you, you got to at least give me some slack. Yeah, I see why you cut me off. You asked the question. I didn't answer it. So let me ask again. You believe the Quran being Kalam Allah is uncreated? The Quran comes from eternity, so yes, it's uncreated. Okay, see, that was it. See, now I didn't cut you off. That's all I wanted to do because you said, yeah, we believe the Quran was revealed by Allah to Jibreel who revealed to Muhammad. I don't know how to answer the question, but you did. Okay, that's good. Uncreated. Now, now 6, 1, 14, chapter 6, verse 1 or 14. There's more than one verse. So if you want to just go one verse at a time, it's up to you. Chapter 6, verse 1, 14. And then he'll, he'll open it up and we'll read it, And then you can tell us what you think it means. Okay, I can't even see the verse, but anyway. All right. Do you want us to read it? Well, now this translation is okay. It's all right because it says book well distinguished. That's not literally what it says. It says book explaining everything. It explains all things. So if you want to use Halali Khan. Oh, you, you want... don't like that one because it refutes okay. you? Okay. Okay, but okay, I'm going to have you read the Arabic to show you that's not the translation. Or give me the Arabic. Oh, uh, uh, no, I'm just kidding. You want the Arabic? I thought because that's what you were going to do. Huh? I thought that's what you were going to do. That's why. Oh, okay. Then open up the Arabic for him. He's going to read it. No, you said you were going to read it. 
No, no, I'm not reading the Arabic. That's your book, right? I wanted you to look at it and read it. Now I used to bring it up. So now I don't know what he did. Where, where are you going now? Open up. Explain in detail. Mufassalin. There it is. So why are we saying, ah, here it is. This is a Quran, Corpus know, Quran. Down the word. Explain in detail. Mufassalin. Do you agree with that? That it means explain in detail? Yes, indeed. So the Quran says, this is a book that explains everything in detail. Explaining right? what in detail, though? What, what exactly is it explaining in detail? Whatever is in the book, obviously, it's saying a book that explains in detail. Right, but what is the book about? The Day of Judgment, correct? And what God only, wants from us. Only a Day of Judgment? That's the majority of the book, warning humanity about the Day of oh, Judgment. So it doesn't care about Salah and Psalm and Zakat and Jihad. That's irrelevant, right? All those and things are included in our worldly God. life, but as far as the spiritual aspect as to what the Quran is meant to do, it's meant to warn the people against the hellfire and to lead them towards the right path. That's what so now, that's where, what do you find, doing. where do you find in that statement that explain in detail means only the hellfire and afterlife? You just no, added I'm not, I, I, I asked you that it explains in detail, and then I asked you, okay, what exactly is it explaining answer, right? in detail? Okay, Whatever's, what in the the answer? Book. Whatever's in the book. No, that's inaccurate. It's explaining in detail a specific thing. Where does it say inaccurate? Because I'll give you several verses. This book explains all things in detail, and it also explains the verses in detail. Where does right. it say Let's say me and you have a situation going on, and time goes by, and someone else comes, and they ask you, explain all things in detail. That doesn't mean I'm going to explain to you the creation of the universe, does it? I'm going to explain all things in detail about what we're talking about. Derek, if you're wasting my time, let me know. I got better things to do because I just told you. That's logical. Things in detail means the things in the book. Exactly. Whatever what is book, it talking about? It talks about the past, the present, the future, prophets of the past, Muhammad, the future, heaven, hell, earthly life, prayer. All of that needs to be explained in detail. Do I need to really break this down? So read the Arabic then. Like you were going to do. How about this, Sam? How about we actually give him the verse that says that it explains everything in detail since he's playing yeah. this game? Well, 6114 is one. Explain mm -hmm. in detail. Wait, what game? This is just the understanding that we well, have. So, 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 so if the Quran said that the, that the Quran explains everything in detail, that means everything, right? Not just hellfire and yada, yada. It means everything, right? In the book. It means everything relating to the topic. Relating to the subject, relating to what it says the book in the is about. book that the book is yeah. is is a detailed explanation of everything. Yeah, chapter ten, the verse thirty-seven. <laughs> chapter twelve, verse one hundred. Okay, okay, you're right. Okay, you're you're right. right. Obviously, right, you don't right. want to address this topic. So, so let me ask you another topic because you don't want to address this. Let me ask you this topic then, because my time is fleeting as well. Uh, so since you don't want to address this, okay, you just said the Quran is uncreated, correct? Yes, it comes from eternity. It's uncreated. So it is uh, uncreated. Okay. Now, how many, you believe Allah is uncreated, correct? Because I want to ask it correctly so you can answer it correctly so we don't go on for tangents. No, you believe Allah is uncreated, correct? Allah is uncreated. He has no beginning. Allah right? is uncreated. He does not beget, nor is he begotten. Okay. Yes. Excellent. So how many uncreated entities you have in Islam? How many in your deen, how many uncreated realities do you have? How many that are uncreated? I'm 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 not trying to avoid this question, but I'm trying to give you an explanation because think about it like this. God is everything. So when you think about what is uncreated and what's God? created. If huh? God is everything, are you God? There's nothing without God. Does that make sense? No, no, that's not what I asked. You said God is everything. So he's everything. Is he my chair that I'm sitting on? He's everything, literally everything. So I'm literally sitting on Allah. So my my arse is on Allah. No, is your head you is in your arse, but not on Allah. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Don't you get in offended? I'm going by your words. So you're bearing yourself. This chair is part of everything. You said Allah is everything. That means this chair is Allah, and I'm sitting on him. Now, how do you sit on a chair with your R? So why are you getting offended? I'm going by what you said. So Allah is literally everything? When he spoke, existence came into, into hey, existence. Oh, my, oh my goodness, man. Yeah. I don't uh, know what. I don't, so see, many, the points that you always bring are creation, just so okay, random uh, creation, and dumb. No, I'm not rambling. Creation means it came into existence. So it cannot be uncreated. So let's try this again. How many uncreated realities do you believe in? 
Because you said create creation means it came into being. So it's not uncreated. How many uncreated realities does Islam posit? You should know the answer, right? I just want to see if you're going to There's answer. There's only one uncreated. One. Yes, that's it. One. But the Quran is also uncreated, right? It comes from eternity. It's not created in this universe, no. Okay, good. So, but was it created in eternity? Which would be a contradiction because if it's in eternity, it can't be created. Then it's not exactly. In exactly. So That's, that, that is the mystery of God, isn't it? Oh, guys, did you hear it? Clip it. A Muslim appeals to a mystery to explain how Allah and the Quran can be uncreated and still be one. But when we. No, 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 no. Uh, can, can can I speak, please? No, you I can't. Am an Arab. Hold on. Yeah, go ahead, brother, okay. because he's trying okay. to misconstrue. I'm an Arab. I'm an Arab, and I, I know okay, so I, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Let me speak. Just let me speak. Mine, please. Okay, mine. Okay. One second. Let me do. Let me tell you how this goes. Let me tell yeah. you how this goes. Okay. So Sam okay. was completing his point. He was landing his plane. Let, let Sam land what he was about to say, and yeah. then okay. by all means, you can join in on this discussion. Okay. Let Sam okay. finish now, what he, the point he was making, please. No, no disrespect to you. You can finish an answer, and then I can speak. I, now I'm going to deal with you. Thank you. Are you Sunni? Okay. Yes, I am a Sunni. Okay, so you believe the Quran is Kalam Allah, right? Yes. And it's uncreated. Yes. It's created, not uncreated. No, it's not created. That's not Ahl It's Sunnah. created. It's it's the it's words of Allah. It's not the position of Ahl al-Sunnah wa jama. Don't let me quote let, to you your scholars and your. Let let okay, okay. Let me let me answer. You just you asked me a Sunni, question. Right? No, no, I don't yes, care. Yes, I am a Sunni. So yes, do you I believe what Ahl al-Sunnah wa jama taught, like Ahmed ibn Hanbal? Yes. And at Tahawi. Yes. They said the Quran is uncreated, it's not makhluk, it's not created. But you said it is, so you're a Catholic. Yeah, I, I am not I am not saying that he it's a created, it's a, a creation. I am saying that it is the words of Allah. It's is it not uncreated? a creation. Is it it's, uncreated? It's, it's not something, it's not what you are uh, what you are asking about. Is it's it uncreated for the love of your God? I am saying it's the words of my God. Is it's it not uncreated? a creation? It's not a creation. It's okay, the good. words of my God. All right. Okay, we got it. So the Quran it's is the not words created. of my God. Is the Quran Allah or is it distinct from Allah? It's a. It's the words of my God. I'm is speaking Quran English. Allah I am speaking clear Allah English in here. I am speaking clear English Allah? in here. I am telling you man, that it is. Is the Quran Allah or is it distinct from Allah? This is three times, man. It's words from Allah. Distinct from Allah. Allah? Is it no, Allah? it's not. No, okay, so it's surely it's not. Okay, good. Now, see, when you answer honestly, don't be scared. No, I am not scared. I yes, am not are. scared at okay, all. So now, no, I am not scared at all. To the next point. My time is fleeting. Stop wasting time. Okay, okay, okay. so the Quran is not Allah, but it's uncreated. Mm -hmm. Last time when I did math with my six year old, Allah uncreated, Quran uncreated, one plus one is two. So you don't have I, to, read. you have two. I am not saying let me answer let me finish my let me finish my answer cares, just let me finish my answer you Stop just interrupting me every me. 5 seconds you. you just interrupting me every 5 seconds oh it's okay uh, I'll do it every 2 seconds get to the point oh god oh go ahead i am saying that it is it, the the quran it's the words of my god you are saying it's a creation or not it's a creation or not. I am saying to you, it's the words of my God. If you are speaking to me, it's your creation. The words, it's your creation. No, you just committed it's not. Shirk. You just committed shirk. Shirk? Yeah, because being what, stupid. What is the meaning of shirk? Let me explain. No, no, no. no. Tell me. Tell me. No, no, no. Oh, no. Now, tell me what is the meaning. Ah. Let me uh, tell me. Tell Can me I what is the meaning of shirk. Can okay. I answer your question? Yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. Okay. okay, you just compared Allah's speech with my speech. You just said like my words, but Allah is oh, in creation. Ya kafir, ya munafik, ya mushrik. My speech is not like Allah's speech because there's okay. nothing like Allah. So how dare you uh, did, say Allah's words are like your words? Ya kafir, did, did, munafik, mushrik. Sounds big more. 
true Muslim. Then. No, no, no. It's it's <laughs> it's not what you are saying, and you are that it just disrespecting hey, Avery, people. By the way, how long it's, not, be, it's, it's not. It's not right to literally. do that. It's not right to do uh, to do that. You are just oh, oh, disrespecting yeah. people by, since by, since by saying to me, you are you are a kafir, you are a munafiq. You just don't know the meaning of these words. Mine, hold on one second. You just don't know the meaning of these words. Mine, mine. Hold on, hold on one second. Okay. Yeah, how long are you gonna be going so I can time myself when I go live? Because this guy. Um. I guess you just you have to respect you people. Here. You yeah, just have to respect prophet, people. Like your prophet respected people. He raped women, married women. He prostituted women, calling it Zawaj al Muta. He married a minor. Zawaj al Muta. Zawaj al Muta. Yeah. Did your prophet do Z that? Did he prostitute your women? Zawaj al Muta. There's, there is no such thing as, uh, as you want Zawaj al Muta in Sunni. Sam, are you a Catholic in, again? Did you become Catholic sun, again, Sam? In the Sunni. It, we Sunni, we believe that there is no thing such as Zawaj al Muta. And listen that, to me. Did your prophet allow Zawaj al Muta in the past and then abrogated it? It's it, it were. Did it he were, allow it? Allow it during the, the war, yes. Oh, so you did have mm. your prophet treating women as whores. No, not as whores. Not not as whores. Okay, not as whores. Okay, why 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 every Christian? Why every Christian? Let me speak. Let me speak. If someone comes to your sister and says, "At the time of Muhammad, you're living at the time Muhammad. You were living at the time Muhammad, and I came to your sister and I said, I'm going to marry her three days, and I'm going to divorce and pay her money. That means I treated your sister as a prostitute. You have no honor and and shame and dignity." No, I didn't say that. I am no telling honor. you that. Oh man, let me speak. Let me answer. You just interrupting everybody by saying yeah. big I words, and you don't know the Dude, meaning of these words. You, man. you just. Sorry, okay, are you no. hearing me or not? No, no, no it's, it's really, really loud. It's too loud. loud. So, yeah, let me know your okay. time schedule because I'm gonna go. So yeah, keep, uh, keep your mouth away yeah, from right. the microphone, like. Uh, I'll be I'll be on only for about twenty more minutes. Uh, okay, bro. That, that's that's the yeah, this guy. Just to let you know, you can tell this guy's a waste of time. He thinks he knows Arabic, but that's what I'm saying. Unless you want me to do something, he knows else. Arabic. I am an Arab. I am not. I I don't know Arabic. I am an Arab. No, so it's my name. Do you want me to really talk. play with you? Do you want me to really play? No, I want I want to see this. I want to see Sam okay. play with you. Just yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. What is it, Rob? Go ahead. No, we, no, we, no, he no, no, I want, I want to see Sam play with this guy. Okay, okay, let me play with this guy. All right, okay. like, shut up, let him let's, talk. Let's come back to the Quran issue, which uh, you were doing the tap dance. So the Quran is not no, part you, of... No, you, Sam, shut up and let him talk. Eric, be quiet. Just hey, let me talk. Hey, wait, wait, Just let up. me talk. You... you want me to do Ruqya oh, on you? Oh, God. He's, he's going to answer the question. Don't let me do Ruqya on you and your prophet. Now, coming back to the Quran. Uh, which just, just, it's my first time in here, in the in this channel. Just it'll can be your last time. Hopefully it'll be your last time. Now. Oh Coming God! Get on. Oh, oh, God. Just talk. you have to respect people. Just I am, I am respecting you, but I, I am don't respecting care you. For you have to respect me. And respect you I don't care either. So, so let's so, so let's let me finish. finish. Okay. Let me finish. finish. Guys, guys, yeah, everybody, hit up, please. So uh, okay. let's get this conversation going. Yes. So. Sam is trying okay. to give you the questions so that you can, you know, give the response. Just there. give me one give question, question and you have to. Hold on, mute, mute your mic, up. please. So he's okay. going to ask you the question. Yes. He's, yeah. he's going to ask you the question and he's going to let you answer. So go ahead. So okay. Fatiha, this is a mm -hmm. prayer and it's eternal, uncreated. So before creation, Surah Al-Fatiha existed because it's kalam, it's Allah's word, it cannot create. Can you explain to everyone this mm -hmm. prayer, Surah Fatiha, that was there before creation? Who was praying? It's not just for praying. Do I need to recite the verses where it's praising Allah? You, you alone we worship? Praising yeah, Allah. Worship. Praising Allah. Is there, okay, who uh, was praising there... Allah? And let, before let creation, Surah Just Fatiha. let me answer. There, there are angels who are... Uh, uh, there are angels before our before the creations of oh, uh, humanity itself, and they were no. uh, all these... no, let him talk. No, 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 no. not I before all creation. Not before all no, creation. You just God. don't know. You just don't know Islam. Before the just creation not, of not angels before creation. and humans. Not before, before the creation of angels. Hold on, Sam. Hold on, Sam. Let, let me try. Let me try. Hold on, man. Man, let me speak and let me answer. I, you didn't so answer. It, 
You yeah, went to yeah. angels. Before it was angels and humans. Before it creation. was before humans. It was before the creation of the humans, not angels. And before the creation of angels. No, you don't know that. Yes, okay, all right, brother. Okay, so hold on, hold on. Let, let's ask this question, Mayin. Mayin, as a Sunni Muslim, yes. do you do yes. you believe that the speech of Allah, the Quran, existed yeah. before the creation of humans? Not you, angels, oh. you angels. Or That's angels, it. I'm sorry. Yes. Before they did, before angels. All Quran? Yeah, the Quran. All Quran? There are some of the Quran that were that were uh, that were created before the creation of a uh, humanity, not you angels. Yeah, but, yeah, but I'm asking. I'm, I'm all right. So I'm asking Mayin specifically about angels. Did the Quran exist yes. before the creation of angels? Not all the Quran. Not all. The yeah, Quran. this guy's this guy's a kafir. He's yes. not. He's he's a kafir. He's a mushrik okay. because of okay, wait, 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 but what? But what is you, are, you are the kafir one. You are the kafir one. Just shut right, up, yeah. man. This, Just this, shut this, up this, and respect this, people. This, this is interesting. You, this you is interesting. Let, let's let's keep it cool though. This is, this is, all right. Yeah. Anyway, brother, this guy he's not representing. Just to drink your Pepsi, man, and, <laughs> and <laughs> let me answer my answers. All right, Pepsi. Okay. Better than drinking camel urine with milk, like your prophet said. You are drinking camel urine. All right, brother. Anyway, this guy's your waste. You want to deal with him? You go ahead. I'll see you guys yeah, later. Blessing, Sam. Yeah, blessing. he has a he has an interesting. Thank God. Love you, love you, brother.